Sasamahan kita kahit isang eroplano ang agwat nating dalawa. Dahil kung nakakapagsalita lamang ang paliparan, ikukwento niya kung ilang beses akong lumingon pabalik sa iyo nung araw na ako'y lumisan. Palubog ang araw noon at dahan-dahan lumulubog din ang puso ko sa kalungkutan. Ayaw sana kitang iwan. Gusto kitang samahan sa mga umagang nagmamadali ka papasok sa eskwela. Gusto kitang damayan sa mga gabing nahihirapan ka sa matematika. Gusto kitang yakapin sa tuwing gusto mo nang sumuko dahil akala mo'y wala kang talento sa pagpinta. Ngunit anak, gusto kong ipaalam sa iyo na ikaw ang nagpinta ng buhay ko. Nang dumating ka, naging makulay ang mundo ko. Ang dating mga baloktot na linya ay naging tuwid. Ang dating madilim na larawan ay nabigyan ng liwanag. Kaya anak, gusto pa rin kitang samahan sa bawat mong karanasan, sa mga tagumpay at kabiguan. Sasamahan kita hanggang marating mo ang mga ulap, hanggang maabot mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Hello, Ma. Hello, anak. Sorry, kakatapos lang ang trabaho ni Mama. Okay lang po, Ma. Kakatapos lang din naman po namin maglaro. Mukhang nandun ka ulit sa paborito mong lugar, ha? O sige, ready ka na ba? Punta ka na sa DepEd Commons. Mart tayo ngayon, ha? Saan na nga ulit tayo na hinto kahapon? Sa problem solving na, di ba? Anak. Sasamahan kita, kahit isang eroplano ang agwat nating dalawa. Hello, hello, hello. Once again, everyone, we're back. Session two of day three. Now, I'm very happy that we've transitioned from getting acquainted with the basic camera settings to the topic for the session, which is on translating lesson plans to TV scripts. Allow me to introduce the next speaker. This morning, we have a teacher three from Aliaga National Senior High School. Our speaker always had an inclination for public speaking, and this is reflected in her event hosting stints, singing gigs, and inspirational talk engagements. This BS Ed English graduate from Araulio University FINMA Education Network also finished her complete academic requirements in Master's of Arts in English, major in Applied Linguistics at Nueva Ecija University of Science and technology. She is also known to be a highly driven teacher, not just in the classroom, but also in the division. And she has been recognized with the Gawad Uhai Award and Gawad Tagapama Nihala 2020 in the school's division of Nueva Ecija. Her public speaking prowess has been enhanced further now that she already is part of the DepEd TV and the DepEd e 2 Live program as teacher, broadcaster, and tutor for personal development. Let's welcome the teacher who can help us translate our classroom-based lessons to official TV scripts for live streaming or online tutoring. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome my fellow Dep Ed TV batchmate, Miss Eileen J. Maglanke. Good morning, Ma'am Eileen. Good morning, Ma'am Floyd and to all of our fellow, to all of my fellow teachers in SDO Angeles City, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mm. 
energy, <laughs> energy. I told you so. She's that awesome. Her energy is peaking. So we have a lot to learn from her. In fact, kung titingnan natin mabuti yung topic ni ma'am, mas napag ma in depth yung ma explain further yung naging topic natin sa day one. Uh, so, we so. can't wait so. to hear <laughs> from you. Ah! Okay. I'm rooting for you, ma'am. So, um, ito po ma'am, parang tradition po namin to sa division. Ewan ko kung naging requirement na po ba to mm-hmm. kada speaker namin. Tatanong na po namin agad, single po ba kayo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still single but taken. Ay, <laughs> He's taken, sorry. Yeah. So, sorry sa mga tao. Uh, if you feel like you're taken for granted for, for me asking that repetitively for our, from our speakers, just so sorry po, huwag niyo po akong i-crucify. Nonetheless, Ma'am Eileen, please take the floor and we can't wait to enjoy your your talk. Thank you po. Thank you so much, Ma'am Floy. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So once again, good morning everyone to all of my fellow teachers in SDO Angel City. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and uh, most especially sa lahat po ng ating mga bosses sa inyong schools division. Once more, um, I am Ma'am Ilin G. Maglanke and I will be your... Um, um, your speaker for this moment about translating a lesson plan to a video lesson script. But then, of course, um, I'm very much and blessed to be part of this um, division webinar training. Maraming salamat po sa oportunidad na ipinagkaloob sa amin. And I am hoping na uh, makatulong po. <laughs> makatulong po ako. Gamitin ako ni Lord na instrument this morning upang mapag-usapan natin itong isa sa napakahalagang um, elemento ng production ng video lesson. So with that, um, I am hoping that you are all ready. So pwede po tayong magkape habang kayo ay nakikinig sa akin dahil ako din naman ay mahilig magkape. But then of course, wag natin kalimutan na ang um, tumutok at sumubaybay sa lahat ng mga bagay na pag-uusapan natin sa umaga ni ito. So as we start, let me give you the key concepts that we will talk about this morning. So we have here four points or four key concepts. And the first one is what is a script and what are its elements? The second one is how to tailor a video lesson script. The third one is what are the common jargons in script writing? And lastly, how are we going to translate or what is the process of translating a lesson plan to a video lesson script? All right. Isa muna tayong mabilisang meme. Lesson planning, five minutes before class. Sino po ang nakaka-relate? Itaas nga po ang kamay virtually. <laughs> well, feeling ko at naniniwala ako, kayang-kaya natin. Yan minsan, ano, bilang mga teacher, lalo na kapag halimbawang ang dami nating ginagawa, we have so many things on our plate na means na nakakompromise yung paggawa natin ng lesson planning. Dahil unang-una, totoo naman po, kabisado na natin yung kahit pa ikot-ikutin tayo at saan man tayo magpunta, master na master natin ng lesson plan. Pero isn't it amazing kung halimbawa kung makakagawa tayo ng lesson plan for five minutes? Yes, very amazing. But then, my fellow teachers, when writing a script, sapat ang five minutes. Kaya tingnan natin kung bakit hindi sapat. Let's begin with what is a script and its elements. So this time, let us now um, define or the meaning of a script and let us identify if what are its elements. So... Technically, a script is a written text of a stage play, screenplay, or broadcast, the one used in production or performance. It describes the flow of video lesson, which includes the various shots, dialogue, voiceovers, and graphics to be used. So, um, technically, it is a written text na ginagamit natin for production and for performance. And Alam natin ito at naririnig natin to before. But then, as the new normal in education um, happened, no, biglang niyakap natin itong script na to, no, Biglang pumasok ito sa ating vocabulary. At ngayon, natin kung paano ba ang paggawa nito. So, it basically describes the flow of video lesson. So, we say that script is 
actually the soul of our video lesson. Ito ang, ito ang soul ng video lesson na kung saan ihahatid natin sa ating mga mag-aaral. At dito sa script, mababasa natin ang lahat ng mangyayari at makikita ng ating mga estudyante o mag-aaral sa video lesson na ating gagawin. So, what else? A script is a precise description of what will happen on your video lesson. The very moment that your, um, let's say, executive producer or kung sino man yung mga kasama mo sa production, mabasa nila itong script na ito, they could first see no? kung ano na yung mga mangyayari doon sa video lesson na inyong gagawin. They can imagine kung ano yung, kung ano yung tatakbuhin ng script na ito. And at the same time, a script also translates creative ideas. Yes. We will not just read uh, technical terms in our script, but then dadagdagan natin ito ng creativity that these creative ideas will reflect or will manifest to the pages of your script. How are we going to do it so? Dahil ang script ay kailangan po nagsasalita ng isang very compelling story. Yes, as we write our script, no, we will not just teach students with um, different information that we want to impart to them, but then at the same time, ay kukwentuhan din natin sila. Anong klase ng kwento? Mamaya po, malalaman natin. So, I hope that we already established the meaning of the script, and now let's proceed with its elements. So, we have the four elements of script. So, these are the things that complete a script, or these are the things that we have to, to indicate. No, or include in our script. Apat na mahalagang bagay na dapat nating makita gagawin or isustulat nating script. And they are the heading, the treatment, the shots or angles, the method or mode of delivery. This time, isa-isahin po natin sila. Let's have first the heading. So if you can see, sa heading po natin, this includes the number or the, the, the episode number, right? And then, we also have to include there the title or the topic of the video lesson that we will produce. And of course, do not forget your name. Shout out pala kay Ma'am Whisper P. Salina, si Teacher Wise from SDO Bulacan sa pagpapahintulot sa akin na gamitin itong part ng kanyang script na ito. And of course, makikita rin natin dito yung treatment, camera shots, the, the milks, the... Um, magiging basis ng ating video lesson. So basically, those are what uh, those are the things that make a heading, no? Um, not necessarily na nakikita pa natin dito yung in the treatment because at the end of that day, ipagkakatiwala natin yun sa production team. What matters about the the heading ay siguraduhin natin andito yung episode number, the title of the lesson, and of course, the learning objectives. Ma'am Aileen, a uh, quick interruption lang kasi alam ko you're already at the peak of your discussion. I don't want to right. interrupt you later. Uh, Ma'am, okay, okay lang po ba ipaflash namin yung slideshow sa ano para our participants could also see the key Ay, points of the discussion? Ah, so sorry po, hindi po ba natin hita. <laughs> Sige po. Alright. All right. So let's get, wait a minute po. Iayos lang po natin. Okay. <laughs> So you see, ganun na eager si Ma'am Aileen. Pag nagdi-discuss na siya, hindi na yan madidistract kahit kanino. Okay? Ganun ka-powerful si Ma'am Aileen. Aileen. Alright. Ayan. Ano po ba ang ating screen? Oh, thank you so much, Ma'am Floy, for notifying me. <laughs> okay, ayan. Okay, right. take it away, ma'am. Alis na po ako. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you so much po. All right, so we're done with heading. Now let's proceed to the second element of our script, and that is the treatment. No, If you could see right there on your screen, nakikita natin na we have different kinds of treatment. So pwedeng ito ay chroma, pwedeng ito ay outdoor, pwedeng ito sa isang specific na lugar. As what I have mentioned a while back, at the end of the day, it depends upon the, the, the production team. But then, of course, bilang teacher broadcaster, nasa yon discretion kung, kung sa paanong paraan mo ito um, gustong matreat or what kind of approach will you use. But then, of course, there are um, limitations na na-encounter tayo. Kaya um, katulad namin sa DepEd TV, no, sa National, um, we are up to on-chroma or 
dito nga limited ang ating movements, limited ang ating um, actions dahil sa sa pandemic. So we make it sure na safe, safe ang mga uh, teachers natin kaya we'll stick to chroma. But then of course, sa inyo, pwede tayong mag-outdoor as much as ligtas ang bawat isa. But then of course, kapag nag-outdoor tayo, marami ding mga disadvantages katulad ng unnecessary noise or mga distractions na pwede tayong ma-encounter. But then at the end of the day, ang gusto natin is something that would fit no? doon sa gusto nating i-express sa, sa script na isusulat natin. So the third one is we have... Okay, before that, let me show you some um, examples ng mga pictures na kung saan ginagamit natin itong tinatawag natin na treatment. So, once again, on screen is Teacher Wise or Ma'am Whisper Salinas from SDO Bulacan. So, we'll stay there na ito yung, mga, ito yung output right after na makapag uh, tayo on screen, on green screen or sa chroma. So, we'll stay there, no? Split, split screen text box. Very, very, very detailed, do, na naka-indicate kung saan nakapwesto si teacher at saan din mag appear yung definition na gusto niya i-impart sa kanyang video lesson. So here are some pictures. This one is the on chroma, okay, the treatment, the kind of treatment on chroma on or green screen. At eto naman yung mga ilang halimbawa lang sa outdoor. And you'll see there, di ba? We could we could we couldn't say kung ano yung mga ano yung mga what to call this ang mga distractions and unnecessary noises na na pwede nating may encounter. So may mga disadvantages and advantages, but then at the end of the day, we are after the safety of every single member of the production team. And there you go, ayan. So those treatments that we have mentioned are all indicated sa ating script. Nang sinabi natin kanina, it should be um, the a script is the precise description of what will happen in your video lesson. Kaya ganun siya ka detalye. So the third one, we have this what we call the camera shots. It really matters, no? The camera shot really matters. Meron tayong tatlong kind of camera shots na ginagamit natin when you're writing a script. And I, I, I believe that you are already familiar with this one dahil nag-discuss kanina si Ma'am Daisy. So, pahapyawan lang natin. So, commonly, we have the full shot, the medium shot, and the close-up shot. So, basically, when we say full shot, it shows the subject's entire body frame. So, kailan natin ito ginagamit? Kapag ka meron, kailangan mag-express ni teacher broadcaster ng big movements. No? Big movements on screen. So, it depends upon the 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 teacher broadcast the, uh, the teacher broadcaster kung ano yung kung paano niya um i-deliver itong mga skills na pero natin itong full shot to to show the entire body frame of the of the subject specifically from their head to toes no so the second one is the medium shot and commonly sa akin ito yung mas gamit na gamit ko ano bilang um, teacher broadca broadcaster at ang tinuturuan ko pa ay mga senior high school students so medium shot shows the subject from its head to waist ayan so th these are the examples and then of course we will we can also use the close up shot which highlights the facial features of the subject without any other distractions in the shot if we would like to, to highlight something or if we would like to give emphasis to someone or to the subject itself, we use this kind of shot. And for the last element of our script, we have this what we call method or mode of delivery. And we do this in two ways, in front of the camera or through voiceover. All right. Front of the camera, of course, we are speaking in front of the camera, pero hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay mukha na lang natin ang makikita sa camera. Maka mamaya naman sabihin ng mga students natin, medyo nakakasawa na si teacher at siya na lang nakikita ko sa camera. That's why we also do this voiceover para magkaroon naman ng highlights sa mga ilang points na gusto nating bigang high emphasis sa ating video lesson. So the thing is, we have to indicate it in our script if which part of it ang gagawa natin ng voice over. So in our examples, common dito ng mga voice over na ito, ito yun nakikita nila sa screen. So if we will use it um, when we are um, giving a review or when when we are assessing that our learners better to have it.
Okay, so we are done with our with the first key point, the, what is a script and what are its elements. Now let's proceed to the second one. How to tailor a video lesson script. All right. So I know that we all have our unique ways of writing. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang pamamaraan ng pagsusulat. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang approach do, sa pagsusulat ng script. But then, um, this time, tingnan lang muna natin yung mga basic na dapat nating ma maunawaan on how to, to, to write a video lesson script. Kung paano ba tayo magtatahe, kung paano ba tayo magduduktong-duktong ng ating mga idea, ating mga concepts in writing a video lesson script. So there are three things that you should know or you should have. Or you should answer before writing a script. The first one is, who is this for? Para kanino ang script na isusulat mo? What story will you talk about? Anong sasabihin mo? And what is the best way of telling it? Paano mo ito sasabihin? Isa-isahin natin. Who is this for? Determining your audience affects the course of writing a script. No? As Rocky puts it, you must shape your story in a way that expresses your vision and satisfies the audience desires. All right. So in this part, no, in marketing, it is very important to determine if who your your market is. So, di ba kailangan muna when you are planning a business, inaalam mo muna kung sino ba ang iyong target na market. Therefore, in that way, you could likely design or create a marketing strategy to achieve a successful sale. No, The same way goes on how we write a script. Maybe it sounds exaggeration, no? it sounds exaggerated, no? but then the truth is the same big story can be told in a million different ways for a million different people. No, A certain story could be told no, in a million different ways for a million different people. Bakit? Because our audience is diverse. But sa pagkawa ng video lesson script, we could identify, of course, kung sino ang ating audience. Primarily, sila ang ating mga estudyante. Therefore, when we determine who our audience is, makikita natin doon kung paano bang atake or approach ang gagamitin natin sa pagsusulat. Of course, if your audience ay mga elementary or preelementary pupils, ibang mga terminologies, ibang approach, ibang strategies ng pagtuturo ang gagawin mo sa kanila compared doon sa junior high school and senior high school. Right? So that is why it's very important to determine sino ba ang aking magiging isudyante or sino ba ang makikinig ng video lesson ko na ito. Because it would happen na, man, na minsan may mga pagkakataon na um, yung script mo ay hindi nag-fit. No, hindi na fit doon sa iyong audience. Minsan, masyadong mababaw para sa kanila. Minsan naman, medyo mahirap para sa level nila. That is why it's very necessary for us to determine of this for. Para kanino ang ating script na isusulat. The second one is, what story will you talk about? And, obviously, it refers to the subject matter. Ano ba yung ituturo natin? We should clearly and effectively establish our topic from the beginning of the video lesson up to the end of it. No? Kailangan at the very beginning pa lamang ng ating video lesson ay makita na ng ating mga estudyante ano bang sinasabi ni ma'am? Ano bang ituturo sa atin ni teacher? So, in reality, it is very difficult or it's very challenging to introduce complex themes in a more colorful, accessible, humorous way. Pero we have to do it. Okay? This is how we should write our script. Na kahit gano'n siya kahirap, kailangan maipakita natin ito, maipakita natin ito in a way that our learners would easily understand it. Pero hindi lang basta madaling maiintindihan, kundi at the same time, in a creative manner. No? In an accessible way, in a humorous way. Kaya hindi lang tayo basta teacher broadcaster when we face the camera, tayo din ay parang mga artista. Tayo din ay parang mga, mga performers. Not in a way na parang kailangan ay para na tayong nasa teatro. No? But then of course, the point is we should become more creative to um, introduce 
different concepts and theories in our video lesson. And as much as possible to our second point, we have to simplify it. We have to simplify it. We have to make it clear. We have to make it um, brief, but concise. No? And lastly, when we are tailoring a script, we have to highlight the most important concepts. Yun yung pinaka makikita nilang pinakalaman. Kung baga ba sa pagkain, ito yung main course na iahandog natin sa ating mga mag-aaral. The last one is, what's the best way of telling it? We know who is our audience. We, we, all, we already know kung ano man yung ikukwento or ano man yung sasabihin natin sa kanila. But then, this is the challenge. Paano natin ito sasabihin? What is the best way of telling it? This is where we get the importance of structure. In script writing, hello? So the structure has to serve the story, not the other way around. What is the best way of telling it? The answer is, have a structure. Kailangan natin ng structure on how we will deliver our video lesson or the script itself through a video lesson. So basically, um, meron tayong mga ginagamit na mga structure at mamaya ay ituturo natin or ipapakita natin kung ano ba yung ideal na structure ng isang script writing. So for now, because we will now proceed to the third key concept for our topic. So let me add this. My fellow teachers, what are the tips in script writing? So the following slides ay makikita natin ang mga tips na ibinahagi sa amin ng ating mga trainees the very moment na kami po ay nagkaroon ng virtual training sa, sa DepEd TV. At i-highlight natin itong mga bagay ni ito sa pagkakataon na ito. So, the first one is, viewers can be easily distracted. So, scripts should be engaging. All right? And of course, stories or flow of discussion should also be engaging. So, lalo na sa mga senior high school students. Actually, nga, minsan pinagtata, nag nagbibiro-biroan kami dahil talaga daw mas madaming viewers ang elementary compared sa senior high school. Yung lokal, minunood ba sa senior but then, it's really true, no? Very distracting, lalo na kapag sila ay manunood online dahil maraming pwedeng mag-pop up dyan, madaming makapag-distract at makakuha ng attention nila. That is why we have to make it sure na yung script na ating gagawin ay engaging, no? That we could actually catch the attention of our learners so they will find our video lesson engaging, interesting, right? At ito po ay galing kay Miss Lucia Cruz Valdez. She said, proposed visuals should be readable and not distracting. So we will be using different kinds of visuals such as um, images or photos, but then we have to make it sure that those are not distracting. But those will help us bilang teacher broadcaster to explain. No, to explain the thoughts or the, the concepts that we would like to impart to our students. So make it sure na lahat ng mga makikita nila visual ones are helpful, not distracting. And the second one, the choice of audio or video or photo should be appropriate to grade level. And that is very necessary. No? Kailangan yung mga photos and any other elements na gagamitin natin will fit to their level. And another one from Ms. Karen De Cara David and Direct Afi Africa, they said the flow of the script should be linear from the beginning, middle, and end. So basically, ito yung tinatawag natin na pinaka structure or but then it should have oh it should be in linear, in linear form. There is a beginning, the middle, and then of course the end. And, of course, our script should be comprehensive and precise content should be observed. Outlined, one idea, and one thing, right? So let's, let's be after the coherence, the connection no, of each um, part of the to make our script um, more comprehensive and precise. At ito, of course, ay matutulungan tayo sa pamamagitan ng pag-outline natin ng mga ideas natin in tailoring script. And from Atom Araulio, we have to know our story. There are instances that as I wrote my script, 
previously talagang nahirapan ako no but then isang magic pala for me to be able to find it um not really easy but then alas uh, um medyo hindi ganun kahirapan is ikuwento ko no ikuwento natin itong mga konsepto na to ikuwento natin itong mga teorya na to na kung saan makaka-relate yung ating mga estudyante and that is very powerful i'm telling you and the last one is you have to find the important or general points in your script and you have to highlight it and you have to to show it in your script so there you go ngayon pag-usapan natin if what are the common jargons in script writing the very first time na magsulat ako ng script ko i was very much honest kasi sabi kong ganun sa sa mga mga mga, mga, mga mentors namin no na hindi talaga ako familiar o ganun ka familiar when it comes to sa mga jargons na ginagamit sa script writing but then at the end of the day tayong mga teacher ay mga estudyante rin naman kaya kailangan aralin natin to so let me give you some common jargons na ginagamit natin when we are writing a script so here are some so the episode which refers to the video lesson count so the on count which means the subject in front of the camera the voice over the voice behind the camera and we use the sound effects or the background the background music so any mga mga uh, abbreviations na ginagamit natin for these for these um terminologies so sfx for sound effects vo for voice over at lahat ng mga jargons na ito or common jargons ay talagang gamit na gamit uh, ito talaga themselves talaga ang nag-aappear sa pagsusulat natin ng script and ang pinakatalamak nito of course the graphics so when we say graphics we refer to the text to the artwork the maps statistical graphs tables or any combination thereof and we have here the example and of course kilalang kilala niyo siya i believe so si ma'am Daniela Espinola from Zaragoza National High School ang ating teacher for early teacher broadcaster for Arling Panlipunan so very applicable ang graphics talaga sa sa elementary kinagamit din natin siya pero sa junior high school and senior high school but then of course more it is more appropriate talaga sa 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 ating mga elementary or preliminary pupils lalo na kasi they are visually inclined kailangan maaliw natin sila sa pag sa mga sa mga images na ipinapakita natin on screen pero katulad ng sinabi natin sure that the graphics that will appear on screen are readable and at the same time not distracting so let's proceed sa pinaka highlight po ng ating um Talk sa umaga ni ito. We will now translate a video lesson plan to a video lesson script. So we discuss the script and its elements, and we also discuss how to tailor a script or in a video lesson script and what are the common jargons in script writing. Now let's try to write. Let's try to translate a lesson plan to a video lesson script. And by doing so, let's first identify the structure of a lesson plan. So we have here the structure of a lesson plan. And katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, as teachers, kahit nakapikit pa tayo, kahit saan pa tayo tumingin at pagbalibalik tayo naman tayo, kabisahin ito at hindi tayo malilito. Because every single detail of it ay kabisadong kabisado natin. But then... Paano natin ma-translate itong lesson plan into a video lesson script, no? You know what, my fellow teachers, no first time na nagsusulat ako ng script ko, talaga namang ang daming mga bagay <laughs> na naibigay na comment sa akin ng ng for, from quality assurance kasi meron of course dumadaan ang mga script natin sa quality assurance at ang daming mga comments ang daming mga suggestions and i must admit nung una parang nagduda ako kung talagang teka lang tama ba ako ng pinaso ko kasi akala ko okay naman ako magsulat dahil kabisado ko naman tong lesson na nagtuturo naman ako but there's really a big difference no when you are teaching in an actual classroom setting sa nagtuturo ka on screen so again, this is the structure of a lesson plan. Now let's look at the ideal flow of a video lesson script. So if you can see there, we have the seven parts, no? But then 
An ideal flow of a video lesson plan begins with your opening billboard, a chempre and closing billboard. So the first one, let's just first identify each part. Okay, so meron tayong introductory skill or ito yung, yung introduction mo sa iyong video lesson. Of course, you also have your review, your learning objectives, your lesson proper, assessment, generalization, and valuing, and of course, your extra spiel. So if you will see, they have, of course, the, the what you call this, the similarities kasi you will just simply... um um impart kung ano nasa nasa pinaka framework ng inang iyong lesson plan sa iyong video lesson script but then ang kaibahan lang yung atake mo at yung approach mo on how you will deliver the instruction on screen so if you will see andito yung mga parts na meron ng lesson plan sa sa isang video lesson script so ang gagawin natin for now teachers iisa-isahin natin kung paano ba isulat ang bawat part na ito. So, before that, let me show you kung ano ba yung format na ginagamit natin when we are writing a script. So, basically, it is divided into two columns, the video and the audio. So, in a video, this column, you will write there the images, the visual effects, and the background specifications or the video soundtrack. So, everything that our learners will see on screen no ay nakalagay sa column na ito in another column sa audio we we'll write there what we will say on the video so andito yung ating mga skills andito yung ating mga inputs andito yung mga lessons na ituturo natin sa kanila but then nagdagdag ako ng isang column ito po yung preference ko no and this is for this column is for the sequence no so bakit ko to ginagamit para mas madaling ma-identify Doon sa script ko, kung anong part ba yung tinutukoy ko kapag ka nagka, nagko-collaborate na kami ng mga ng executive producer ko or kapag ka nagko-collaborate na kami ng editor ko. So this column will help the editor no and at the same time, you as a teacher broadcaster to, to identify kung saang part ng script mo ang gusto mong i-highlight o saang part ng script mo ang gusto mong bigyan ng emphasis kapag ka sa post-production na. So let's start. So let's begin with our introduction. All right. So in the introduction part, teachers, yan yung tinatawag natin na greeting, no? So diyan tayo bumabate na under the subject matter, di ba? We greet our students. So in this kita ninyo sa ating ano, sa ating sa ating example, ito ay isang ito ay example ng script ko for personal development. Hindi ba po ako nag air pero i-share ko na po sa inyo. <laughs> Dahil fourth quarter pa po ako. If you will see there, no, I I I introduce the subject, the the, the course title. I introduce myself as well and I greet my students. So how will we say that? So, welcome to your personal development course. Good day, part of learners. I am Mang A, and I am here today to help you feel okay. I am looking forward to sharing with you fun and interesting episodes about personality nourishment that will help you see yourself as conqueror and champion. Just stay with me until the end, only here on Deped TV. So, sa introduction pa lang, you are you are already inviting your students na mag-engage dun sa iyong video lesson by introducing them the subject or the course and of course ikaw as a teacher and at the same time dito rin pumapasok yung introduction tinatawag natin na branding sa so, paanong paraan mo gusto kang makilala ng mga estudyante actually hindi lang mga estudyante kundi yung mga magulang din nila at yung mga kasamahan din nating mga teacher paano mo gustong makilala on screen anong gusto mong itawag nila sa iyo so lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay makikita natin sa tinatawag natin na introduction as the initial part ng ating ideal flow ng ating uh, video lesson script. And of course, we will not forget to have the review. Okay? And it's very important, no, na napakahalagang magkaroon tayo ng review sa ating episode because in reality, hindi naman talaga lahat ng mga estudyante ay nagkakaroon ng generous, na, o merong generous na internet connection, right? So, by having a review as part of the of the structure ng ating video lesson script na ituturo na din natin sa ating mga estudyante yung mga lessons na naatake natin or na ituro natin 
though wala nga, limited yung kanilang internet connection, hindi na nila kailangang bumalik sa nakaraang episode, marinig pa lang nila yung review, they could be able to relate kung yung two topics na gusto nating itawid sa kanila, yung previous one and the current one. So, as we deliver or as we write our review, no, kanya-kanya po kasi talaga tayong approach and kanya-kanya tayong writing style. Eh. But then for me, if you will see the, here, in the example flash on your screen, I mentioned the, the general view ng nakaraang topic. no, And at the same time, I have this what we call, um, what I call um, review starter pack kit Okay, na kung saan gumamit ako ng iba't ibang tools para ma-review ko yung mga estudyante ko. So, same with you. You may you may have a general um um explanation if what is the lesson discussed or what was the lesson discussed previously and at the same time you may you may use another tool para ma-review ating mga estudyante. Okay. And of course, at the end of the review, do not forget to um affirm them of course to to recognize kung nakakuha ba sila ng tamang sagot kung naka-perfect ba sila sa review of course you have to affirm kung ano man yung naging output ng review yung ginawa mo all right and now of course let us not forget to determine the learning objectives this is very important at kung makikita natin dito, kailangan din itong maki kailangan din itong marinig or kailangan din natin itong sabihin sa ating mga estudyante kung ano ba yung pag-aaralan natin for that particular video lesson. And uh, as script writers, saan ba natin ibebase ang ating learning objectives, no? It's very important. We have two important bases and the first one is the most essential learning comp competencies or yung tinatawag po nating MELCs and of course our so self learning module. Sa panahon ngayon, actually talaga ang dami nating mga references. Ang pa din nating magpaalam sa mga modules na gagamitin natin. Katulad ko, um, kami po sa DepEd TV, hindi rin kami basta-basta gumagamit lang ng mga modules from different divisions. No? Um, kailangan natin to ipagpaalam, eh, kailangan natin to i-communicate, but then basically, this would be the basis ng paggawa natin ng learning objectives natin. And of course, now, punta na tayo sa lesson proper. Okay. So, dito na papasok sa kung paano natin ituturo yung ating lesson or yung ating topic sa araw na iyon for our video lesson. So, dito papasok yung creativity natin, creativity natin teachers. Paano natin gustong simulan ng ating lesson? Paano natin makakatch yung attention ng ating, ng ating mga estudyante na kahit na magbabad sila for 20 minutes or kung ka naman katagal ang ating video lesson, they will find the video lesson interesting. They will find the, the, the video lesson um, very engaging. So, yung iba, nagkakaroon muna sila ng tinatawag dati na preliminary activities. So, meron silang mga preliminary activities na, na ini-insert or, or ginagawa as they start teaching the lesson. No? Yung iba, nagkukwento. Yung iba, may mga ginagawa silang mga tanong. And I believe na meron tayong kanya-kanyang pamamaraan kung paano natin sisimulan yung ating ating pagtuturo. So, if you will see here, ito ay example ng script na ginawa ni Ma'am Dada o ni Teacher Dada. No? Marami pong salamat once again, Ma'am Dada, sa pagpapahiram sa amin ng inyong script. At makikita niyo po natin dito sa example na gumamit siya ng illustration. No? It, it's, it is uh, about ang agila. Okay, ang agila. So, makikita natin dito, sabi niyang ganun, ang agila ay nagsimula sa itlog hanggang sa dumating ang araw na pinakihintay niya ang kanyang paglabas sa mundo. So, nagpuwento siya sa kanyang mga isadyante para ma-introduce niya yung topic na kanyang ituturo doon sa kanyang lesson. So, nakikita natin dito ang paggamit ng iba't ibang uh, mga graphics, iba't ibang paggamit paggamit natin ng mga sound effects na appropriate and necessary doon sa lesson na ating i-impart sa mga estudyante. So, this will be the gist. No? Ito, ito yung pinaka, um, pinaka main course na ng ating, pag, ng ating video lesson wherein they will encounter the different concepts, the different theories, no? terminologies na, na tumututoy doon sa ating topic na itinuturo. So, there you go. Pumunta tayo ngayon sa assessment. So, I don't know, pero we could have um, two different kinds of, of assessment. 
pwede tayong gumamit ng subjective, of course, and objective. Depende ito sa kung gaano nakahaba ang iyong video lesson. No? Pwedeng mag-objective kung marami ka pang time na kaya mo pang silang i-assess using the objective type. Pero kung halimbawang medyo tight na yung, yung oras, pwede ka namang magpagawa or ina-subject... Eh, pwede mo namang gamitin ang subjective type of of assessing the learners no so in the example na meron po ako dito um i asked my students no to make a poster or slogan no but then the important thing kailangan ito po ay may follow up sa susunod mo na video lesson so katulad nito ito pong assessment ko na ito ay mag-aappear sa susunod na episode as my review so Hindi na sayang, hindi ka lang basta nagpagawa na parang, ah, okay na, sinabi na ni teacher, kahit hindi na natin yan gawin. May follow-up, i-consolidate natin. And sa style po ng pagsasulat ko, in-insert ko siya sa susunod na episode and I will use this assessment as my review. Ayan. So, of course, we also have the generalization and then the valuing. Ito ay isa pong part ng aking thing, no? I have here the Hashtag a shout out, no? Na kung saan dito pumapasok ang integration ng values. So, I have here a quote, no? Na pinaka, um, pinaka mag, sa sum up nung, nung, nung lesson na itinuro ko for that, for that particular, um, video lesson. And it's very important because at the end of the day, sabi nga niya Rich Sutel, Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Kahit gano'ng kadaming theories, kahit gano'ng kadaming concepts ang iyong in-impart all throughout your video lesson, kung hindi naman na-touch yung kanilang heart, therefore, eh, feeling ko hindi gano'n magiging ka-effective yung ating um, video lesson. Because at the end of the day, we don't just want to mold or shape their minds. We also want to shape and mold their hearts. That is why sana itong part na ito ay pa din sa structure na magiging script ninyo. And for the last one, wow, last na anong oras na po, medyo mabilis ba ako magsalita, ano? We will not forget the extra spiel, of course. So kung meron tayong introductory spiel, meron din tayong extra. How would you like to end your video lesson script? Paano ka magpapaalam sa kanila? Paano mo i-end itong video lesson mo na ito? And I will use here ang extra spiel ni Ma'am Y, on the teacher wise, di ba? Sabi niya kung ganoon, ito yung kanyang naging expel, mga ka-certified wise. Magkita tayong muli ha. Patuloy nating linangin ang ating kaisipan. Patuloy nating isabuhay ang kabutihan. Patuloy nating ibahagi ang ating kaalaman. Patuloy nating paglingkuran ng Diyos at ang ating bayan. Muli ako si Teacher Wise na magbibigay sa iyo ng mga words of wisdom para laging full of life at ikaw ay maging wise. Maalam na buhay at paalam. So di ba po, very beautiful. <laughs> And then at the same time, napaka um, engaging nung kanyang ano, kanyang kanyang extra spiel. Talaga na mangi-instill sa atin yung values nung subject na kanyang itinuturo. And at the same time, na ibabranding niya yung kanyang sarili bilang tinatawag natin na teacher wise. So the thing is, dito papasok kung gaano tayo ka creative bilang mga teacher broadcaster at katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ay paano natin gustong makilala tayo ng ating mga estudyante. So, there you go. Let me give you some additional reminders. The first one is, we have to check how long your video is. So, here it is. Um, we know na, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, na hindi lahat ng mga estudyante ay may generous na internet connection. Mag-load ba na sila ng cost for 50? 1 gig, 2 gig? But then, we, we, we know na hindi yun enough for them to be able to watch all the video lessons na mapanood sa kanila. So make it sure that we have to check kung gaano katagal ang ating video. And in that case, it's up to our division kung ano ba ang magiging unified na length ng ating video lesson. But then I believe na kailangan magkaroon tayo ng isang unified na structure ng script or ng flow ng script and at the same time magkaroon din tayo ng unified length time no kung gaano kahaba or kung gaano ba kaikli ang ating isang lesson or video lesson so sa amin sa sa atin sa napapanood po natin sa DepEd TV um commonly 
it runs for um 20 to 25 minutes no commonly dun lang po naglalaro ganun lang siya kahaba kaya imagine kung sa actual setting ng ating pagtuturo nakikita natin sa ating lesson plan at the end of our 60 minute instruction di ba sa oras yun, 60 minutes kahit nga uh, minsan nag nakuko Oh, nakukuha mo pang mag-share ng buhay mo sa actual sa actual setting ng ng ating instruction but then in this video lesson we have to make it sure na every single part na mapapanood ng ating mga mag-aaral ay talagang matututo sila but we have to consider if how long our video is so paano natin to ginagawa actually um nire-rehearse natin ito Binabasa natin ito, no? At uh, sabi nila, standard is um, the size of, um, the size of, kapag po nagsusulat tayo, ang isang page daw po in a format na um, short, no? And then, aerial ang ating font size, uh, font, font style, and the font size is 12. It will run for one minute. Pero, hindi po sa lahat ng pagkakataon. So, I suggest you read it. Basahin natin. And technically, gumagamit daw tayo ng apostrophe simple if saan magmamark ang every minute sa ating spiel. So we could use apostrophe symbol to indicate kung ilang minuto na. And of course, we could use um, double apostrophes to indicate the seconds. No? So in that way, we would see kung gaano nakahaba. Matutulungan tayo kung gaano nakahaba ba yung ating ating video and at the same time matutulungan tayo nito kung paano natin i-adjust ang mga bagay-bagay. So, the second one is invite the viewer to take action. And of course, our viewers are our learners. So, invite natin sila na kung ano man yung mga bagay na, na makikita natin o mapapanood nila sa video lesson is they will be part of it makakapag install sila ng uh, makakapag contribute sila no makakapag um, participate sila sa lahat ng mga activities that is why it's very important na lahat ng mga na ating gagawin sa ating video lesson ay very engaging and very interesting and of course we have to review the text aloud we have to um practice it no hindi po dahil tayo lang ang nagsulat E eh, ibig sabihin ay madali na natin itong ma-deliver in front of the camera. It's important na pina-practice natin ito prior the shoot. Kaya napakahalaga na nagbabasa tayo, pina-practice natin in front of the mirror para pagdating natin sa camera, dire-diretso at magiging smooth ang ating pagre-record. So, lastly, we can show our script to a friend. Dahil sabi natin, two heads are better than one. That is why technically, meron po tayong tinatawag na mga nagko-QA ng ating script para i-assess kung, kung yung quality content ng ating script dahil basta mga estudyante natin sa paaralan ang manunood dito. I-air ito to the public. At madaming makakakita, madaming manunood, madaming makakapakinig. At ang ina iniiwasan natin ay magkaroon ng kapunahan. Dahil what we, achieve, what we want to achieve is to provide quality education para sa ating mga mag-aaral. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow teachers, um, let me give you this a shout-out. Hashtag a shout-out. A very famous um, quotation from Martin Luther. At ang sabi niya pong ganun ay, if you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. No? Um, as teachers, we believe that one of the most powerful um, weapons that, that we have is our pen. Basta siguraduhin lang po natin na may tinta ito. No? <laughs> Kidding aside, no? But then, ang pen ay kinatatakutan ng mga isudyante dahil ito ang ating panulat ng kanilang mga But then, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, the script is the soul of our video lesson and it will not just speak abundance of abundance in knowledge and information that we would dearly love to impart or to share with our learners. But then at the same time, our script would also speak hope and faith. 
sa ating mga mag-aaral. And this hope will tell them to hold on to their dreams because even if we are facing this very trying time the, because of the pandemic COVID-19, it is still possible for them to believe in their dreams or to achieve their dreams. And at the same time, above all, is faith. Our script could also speak about faith. Faith on God, faith on themselves, and faith on the education that we will pursue to provide for them. And this is how powerful our script in our video lesson. And the good is that we are holding this pen. We are holding this pen. That is why we could now write for us to be able to change the world. Marami pong salamat, SBO Angeles City, and let us all together change the world with our pen and with our writing. All right, thank you so much for that, Ma'am Eileen. So we've learned so much from you today. Uh, ang ganda po kasi napapakita po at na reiterate po through your talk today na we can always customize our scripts or personalize them. Kasi when we had a, a two-part na script writing talk po nung day one, um, merong iba-ibang techniques kung paano i-lay out yung script. Uh, my colleague... Uh, presented storyboard, video, audio type. Ako naman, sa end namin sa, uh, sa atin, sa DepEd TV, baligtad naman yung video at audio. So, wag po kayong ma-stress kung meron kaming additional na colors or nag-iba po yung, ano, depende po yan sa agreement nyo at nang nag-check ng <laughs> scripts nyo. So, very nice, ma'am. Very uh, creatively done. And I like how you were able to explain and emphasize how cohesive subtopics in a lesson can. Before really moving on to the next, meron talaga tayong kahit ayaw man natin, kung kahit gusto man natin pure lecture, pero mababagot at mababagot yung mga students natin. And uh, I love how you also emphasize that episodes can be connected through a, an evaluation or assignment na pwedeng balikan sa susunod na episode. Magandang maganda po yun. It's one way to compel them to really anticipate at the same time go through the the entire episode. So, maganda po yan. Ma'am, question ko lang. <laughs> yes po. May mga questions okay. dito. Uh, first question po, how do you import the values in an online tutorial episode? Option one po daw, should we do it in a subtle way throughout or insert throughout the lesson or in certain parts of it? Or option two, uh, should we explicitly mention the values at the conclusion part? So, alin po yung mas maganda at ideal, Ma'am Aileen? Yeah, that's a very nice question, Ma'am Floy, you know? As what, as what I have mentioned a while back na it's really up to us kasi meron tayong kanya-kanyang style ng pagsusulat, no? Meron tayong kanya-kanyang approach sa pagsusulat. At sa aking script na, gina, na, na isinulat, no? Actually, ang ginawa ko sa aking values instruction ay inilalagay ko siya sa dulo, pero meron akong mga, may mga instances na nilalagay ko siya sa gitna, no? Sato, Kasi, sato. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. So, it depends upon you. You, ikaw, ikaw ang, nasa yung ang compass. Ikaw ang magda, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw ang, ikaw ang magda drive ng script mo. So, I believe na, wherever you put the values integration na ito, kung saan mo man siya i-integrate, no? Um, make it sure na itong values na ito ay mag-reflect doon all throughout din sa mga gagamitin mong mga, um, um, what to call this, sa gagamitin mong method sa pagtuturo sa iyong video lesson. Walang sinasabi kung saan siya dapat ilagay sa unahan or wherever, wherever it is. It's up to us kung saan natin to mas nakikitang magiging effective at mas saan natin to ito, saan natin to ito mas makikitang um, makakarelate at ang mga iso dyan. Alright. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Aileen. Ma'am Aileen, before we move on to the next question, I would like to um, uh, mentioned some comments here for you. Uh, Madam Jay mentioned that, uh, thank you, Dopo, for such informative session. 
Ma'am Hilda as well and Sir RJ Calaguas and of course Ma'am Maria or Ma'am Remaline Cruz, uh, Ma'am Vanessa, ang dami po na nagpa-thank you. In fact, ang bonggang-bongga ng thank you ni Sir uh, ni Ma'am Trimi. Maraming maraming salamat daw po talaga and ang galing mo po mag-deliver ng lines amazing as per Ma'am Ace or Ice and um, amazing discussion, very clear. Thank you so much from Sir Alvin Louis Reyes. Now, we move on to the second question, ma'am. Oh, may dalawa, uh, pangalawa pa. Oo, oh, oh, may pangatlo pa yan. Nakailang. <laughs> 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 so, very impressive po yung mga kadivision ko. It's okay. It's ma'am okay. Aileen, nakailang pages po ba raw kayo sa script nyo na 60-minute lesson? Ilang pages po yung nagagawa natin? Well, basically, kami po kasi sa DepEd TV, we are oriented that our episode, episode um, should run for 20 to 25 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, Ma'am Floyd, right? So, katulad ng sinabi ko kasi kanina, Ma'am Floyd, diba, it's very important for us to read our script and to um, pangalato, to rehearse it. Talagang kailangan babasahin natin ito for us to be aware kung gano'n na ba siya kahaba. At sa katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, we could use apostrophe and double apostrophe to indicate the time, particularly the minute and then the second, because every second really matters, no? So we couldn't say, we couldn't say kung how, kung ilang pages ang meron for 16 minutes, no? Oh, Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na 10, 10, 10, um, 10 pages, but 10, sa akin, sa ginagawa kong script, Ay, may, ito, meron akong sample, no? So, this is, <laughs> actually, um, the, this is a 17-page script, no? 17 pages po siya. And uh, it it, run, uh, it runs ng mga 23 seconds, eh, 23 minutes, doon yeah. sa aking pag, ano, doon sa aking pagbabasa. But then, at the end of the day nga po, we couldn't say kung gaano kadaming pages unless talagang mamanumanuhin natin manually, we read it, and we use those symbols for us to be aware kung gaano na katagal mag ang ating script. Okay, so that's good. So the audience should understand and our fellow virtual mentors should understand that it really varies and we really have to rehearse and master the lines that we have and um, really make some adjustments based on the number, hindi lang sa number of pages kasi merong iba, sobrang haba ng pages. Kaso yung sequence naman niya, hindi ganun karami. ba Ma'am Aileen? Masyashock ka na lang, it's even less than 15 sequence. Yung iba, 10 sequence lang, pero ang haba na ng pages, di ba po? Sobra. And ano okay. din po, kahit in-anticipate natin yung one minute screen time per page, minsan nag-extend talaga siya, lalo na pag maraming transition. So Ma'am Aileen, since na-mention mo na naka 17 or 16 pages ka, usually sa episodes mo na that would run for 23 minutes, Tanong ko po ma'am, paano po sa e nyo? Mga ilang pages naman po yung script na nagagawa nyo? Actually, sa e um, what we are using ay mga slides. Ito, no? Yes. So, but then to tell you the truth, first, ano pa lang ako, uh, parang newbie pa lang ako sa e Nagsimula pa lang po ako nung nakaraan. Eh. Kaya, kaya, kaya to be honest with you, medyo ginagamay-gamay ko pa siya. But then, um, hindi tayo gumagamit ng script when we are doing or conducting the online um, the online um, tutorial. No? Mm -hmm. Ang ginagamit natin na material dito ay uh, the, the PowerPoint presentation or the, your, your yes. slides. No? Yes. So, hindi tayo makakap, makap, maging objective or makapagbigay ng specific no? na time, length of time, kung gaano kahaba, talagang Ma'am Floy, hindi talaga siya ganun kadali. <laughs> hindi talaga siya ganun kadali. Hindi tayo pwedeng maging magician. Hindi natin pwedeng masabi na na it will run smoothly, na na may hit natin yung ganitong ganitong length of time. Kaya nga to, sa uh, kaalaman po ng lahat, kapag ka, sa post-production na, may mga instances na meron silang nire-remove ng mga part. No? Kapag na nag exit na sa time, meron Totoo. silang mga part na tinatanggal na na dahil masyado ng mahaba eh, syempre of course, ang iniisip po natin is um, makaka-access pa ba itong mga estudyante na ito? Lalo na kapag senior high school, bang Floyd, di ba? Na-imagine ba na 
Pinit nakababad sila talaga sa cellphone nila para manood na kung ano <laughs> yung mga bagay na isashare natin. They're so, easily distracted. Oo. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Oo. Oh, oh. So, you see? So, um, karamihan, yung PowerPoint, yung finofocus, yung iba naman, um, PowerPoint with graphics and illustration. In fact, Ma'am Aileen, uh, nung day one, in-advise namin sila, if kung very minimal lang yung ma-produce nilang number of pages sa script for online tutorial, they can actually begin with uh, producing a sequence treatment. That way, meron na silang outline talaga. Kung, let's say, rushed yung pag-prepare nila ng online tutorial, at least meron na talaga silang standard na basis apart from uh, the preliminary episode guide, talagang may sequence treatment sila. Yun yung number one sandata nila before really getting into the script. So, ma'am, thank you. Um, ma'am, last question na po to. For you, kailan daw po yung pinaka-suitable stream ang live na tutorial? Naku, we are talking about that time po, no? Naku, medyo maingay po dito at may mga grinder po na, nag, na nagtatiles po din eh, no? Um, we cannot say din, Mang Floy, eh. <laughs> we cannot say din, eh, di ba? Ako po, ang time ko for itulay ay 4.40 to 5.20. At alam natin, itong mga ganyang oras, hindi natin malaman kung nasaan ang ating mga learners. Dahil pwedeng, ito yung time na kung saan um, gigising pa lang sila. Mm. Totoo po yan. Oh, mga, okay. alam, alam, alam po natin yan, dalang mga kabataan, ang tulog yan umaga, ang tulog sila sa araw, gising sila sa gabi. No? But then, based on my observations, no, Um, napakalaking bagay din kasi nang nagagawa um, Mang Floy and uh, teachers ng mga magulang eh na gumagabay sa mga estudyante. Kaya if we will see sa dep- sa sa itulay natin sa online tutorial, every morning ang daming mga umaabot ito ng hundreds, no? Ang daming mga nag engage ng mga estudyante at daming mga nag engage ng mga magulang. But then at the end of the day, siguro it's really a matter ng pagkakamping natin para makita natin yung ano, um, makapag at encourage tayo ng madaming viewers sa ating online tutorial. I-campaign natin ito. Ipamalita natin sa ating mga estudyante ang ganitong platform na ginagamit natin para maitawid natin ang edukasyon para sa kanila. Pero okay. at the end of the day, I believe, Ma'am Floyd, it's not really about the time. Pero it's about the your ano your creativity and your preparation and your delivery yeah. kung paano mo maideliver itong online instruction na ito sa pamamagitan ng video lesson at sa pamamagitan ng mga tutorial sessions. Okay. So, Ma'am, I know I promise there's one uh, one question left. Ako, nasabihin ko na lang yung pahapyaw yung question ni Ma'am Vanessa. Uh, does it mean po na mas free-flowing ang e like is a scripted na video lesson? Actually, both of them have guides. Both have scripts, ideally. Uh, mas free-flowing lang talaga yung e like Di ba, Ma'am Aileen? Parang yes. nasa classroom lang. Kaso virtual siya at mas Correct. marami yung students. So, yun. Actually, so, mas personal talaga po ang online tutorial na ginagawa natin sa pamamagitan ng Dep and e like kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng interaction with our sure. learners. Unlike sa video lesson, na steady lang talaga. So, so um, not really that free flow. Free flowing in a way na um, sa pag-deliver ng instruction kasi actually, mas challenging nga ma-employ kapag ka-live eh. Totoo Alam mo ba, hindi, mas challenging kasi talaga hindi mo may edit kung may mga errors ka man, may mga grammatical errors ka man na, ma, na unintentionally, di ba ma-mention? But then, yes, of course, katulad so. ang sinabi po ni Ma'am Floy, para po sa kaalaman, meron pa ding structure kaming ginagamit, meron pa ding kaming guide, at unified ito para lahat ng mga tutors natin, isa lang yung magiging way of presentation nila sa mga learners natin. Wow, thank you for that, ma'am. Um, now, um, In conclusion, we all do this for the learners, di ba, Ma'am A? And it's not about us teachers looking so good on cam. Uh, it's part or parcel of that, yes, of an episode, but it's really more on the learners. Paano i-deliver yung content? Paano i-integrate yung value sa lesson? So, yun po yung magiging challenge at yun din po yung magiging, yung parang overall advice na maibibigay ni Ma'am A at ako na din po. I-feel ko na nakasama ako sa advice. <laughs> Yan po. So, Ma'am A, at this point, we are going to award the digital certificate na po uh, for, of course, for you gracing our event. Thank you so much po. Kasi 
Ewan ko, I, I got so excited when I learned you'll be joining us. Kung pwede nga, that, lahat ng kabatch natin, pinasalig na namin. <laughs> Kasi di ba, Ma'am A, sobrang ano, ang bibo-bibo ng batch natin. Tapos, so here you go. Oh, oh, ba? Yeah. <laughs> And you know, oh, para po sa kaalaman ng lahat, talaga naman, si Ma'am Floyd, she really nailed the face-to-face -face <laughs> online, uh, face-to-face -face workshop namin for the very first time na po kami ng face-to-face. -face. You know what po, ano po ang binigay sa kanyang comment ng isa sa mga executive producers na si Sir Tomar. <laughs> Alam niyo po kung ano? Perfect. Oh, ah, you know? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Kaya po talaga naman nung nalaman ko din na si Ma'am Floy ang mag-host sa, sa atin for this morning ako. Ma'am Floy, kinabahan talaga ako. <laughs> Ay nako, grabe naman to. Sus ko. Anyway, Ma'am Aileen, you're always welcome in our division and sa lahat ng learnings na impart mo ngayon sa amin. Um, we look forward to more sessions like this and if given a chance na kami naman din magpalitan tayo na speakership sa kanya-kanyang division, more than happy. So, Ma'am, allow me to read the citation. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Schools Division of Angeles City, Jesus Street, Barangay Pulong Bulo, Angeles City, awards the certificate of recognition to Ma'am Aileen J. Maglanke for being the resource speaker during the division webinar workshop on audio and video-based or, or multimedia learning format development of online tutorial session held on March. April, rather, 26 to 30, 2021, at the Division of Angeles City via StreamYard and other platforms. Given this 30th day of April 2021 at DepEd Division of Angeles City, Isu Street, Kulungbulo, Angeles City, signed OIC, School Division Superintendent Dr. Maria Irene P. Tamayo Sese. So thank you so much, Ma'am Aileen. Congratulations. I'm very happy po talaga na nakasama pa po namin kayo ngayon. Thank you po. Congrats, congrats po. So, um, to our participants, thank you po for joining us. And um, we'll be back shortly after 10 minutes for a quick break. And let's have our next guest or next talk. I'm sure yung energy na Ma'am Aileen, makakontinue po yan kasi yung next speaker natin, kakantahan po tayo. Kung hindi po siya kakanta, si Sir Noel po yung papakakantahin po natin. Wag na po ako, si Sir Noel na. So, <laughs> Thank you, Ma'am Aileen. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Lots of love. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.